Hello everyone and welcome to episode 24 of the journey on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. We're going to start off this episode by doing a lot of club maintenance here because we have played 7 games with our second squad. Which means that uh, most of our players have run out of contracts and that's just how things is because when players are new from uh, PAX they have 7 contracts so I pretty much bought these players when they were new from contracts basically so we gotta renew the contracts. And then just go from there, just kind of see some of the stats on some of the players that we've used. Like uh, Jackson Martinez, I think they're picking up 11 goals in 14 games, which is pretty good for me. But we're going to go back to our main squad, go back into seasons, see if we can pick up some more points in order to uh, go promote to the next division. And the f t first team that we come up against... It's going to be a pretty decent Premier League side. Not the best you've seen, but it's got some strong players in there. It's got Chesney, Michael Richards, Dawson, Gary Cahill, Leighton Baines, Ramirez, Kevin Morales, Majorvis, Oscar, Boney, and then Daniel Sturridge up top. Daniel Sturridge is very quick, very strong. He's got Forza skills. Wilfred Boney is not the quickest one, but he's a an extremely strong player and he's going to get the game started here. I was not very happy at the defense there and Courtois for his or both of their positionings because they just let him jump like right up without anyone marking him. But then in the 35th minute we're on the counter attack here. Gundogan has a lot of free space over here and he's going to be able to get the cross in. Karim Benzema is going to be completely open there. He's going to smack it in the back of the net on the volley. 35 minutes gone, very, very nice right there, but then only a couple minutes later, he's going to be on the counter attack here, I was not very happy at David, David Alaba there, he he just ran past Oscar there, as you can see, please reconnect controller, that means I was not happy, sometimes I just drop the controller out of, like, kind of rage, but uh, Courtois is going to make a save here, then we're going to be able to get on the, get on the counter attack here, just look at the space that Royce have right there. I mean, look at the space. And Royce is going to be able to put it in the back of the net. 51 minutes gone. So we're right into back into this game now. And that is actually going to be how the game ends. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I would have I hoped for 3 points. But then again, 1 point is like... It's, it's always a point. It's not a loss. I don't... I don't like losing, but I don't like when I'm not winning yet. <laughs> right, so we need 3 points for promotion and we need 6 points in able to win the title. And uh, it's time to check uh, some of our transfers. Some of, maybe one we won. And we won Julio Cesar, the, the Brazilian goalkeeper from Q QPR. Who is going to slot nice into our new uh, Brazilian squad. And I'm just going to go ahead and list up all the players... That are in my second squad, except for Jackson Martinez and uh, Quintero, because I might, I might want to, well, like, accidentally send send them to the trade pile. As you can see, these are some of the prices I sold them for. Not crazy profit, but it's some profit. And we're able to pick up Alexandro. But yeah, I'm going to keep around Quintero and Jackson Martinez, just because they're two very strong players, and they link up very, very nicely. There you can see some of the players I'm trying to pick up. I just picked up uh, Leandro here for 300 coins. I, I could discard him for 300 coins, so I, I didn't know what kind of Brazilian uh, striker I wanted to get since I didn't have like a lot of money. But I'm able to pick up Jensen, the 5 star skiller, for 650 coins, so that that's not too that's not too shabby at all, I would say. 79 pace, it's not the quickest one, but he does have the 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. And uh, this is another day, as you can see, I bought all the classic kits. Uh, in the EA store just because I wanted to I could quick sell them for 2,000 points coins but I want to keep them keep them around and as you can see we've sold all our players for like we we made profit on some and we made I think I made a loss on Pepe uh, just a little bit of a loss and uh, we were able to pick up Bernard here I think it was for 2,500 coins with the uh, Maestro's chemistry style or it's somewhere around 2,500 coins but Remember, this, this was a pretty long time ago, a couple of weeks, so these prices have definitely changed. Pato is not going for 2,700 coins at the moment. He's probably going for around just a little bit over 1,000 coins, actually. Uh, 
And uh, this is our Brazilian team with Juli Cesar, Danilo, Juan Jesus, Manuel, Alexandro, uh, Fernando, Felipe Melo, Bernard, Jadson, Leandro, and then Alexander Pato up top. Uh, it will be it will be changed just a little bit some improvements to uh, to like points of the team and uh, it's now time to go into a uh, a uh, online turn a tournament match with our new Brazilian squad because two of two of our players were injured and the team we come against is a Premier League side with Hugo Lloris, Cal Walker, Fertong and company, Clichy, Ramirez, Walcott, Andre Schirle. Wayne Rooney, Daniel Sturridge, and Samuel Eto up top. He's got some fantastic players in there. Andreas Schuller is just pacing, and he's got a really good shot on him, which he will actually display in this game right at this moment. Just look at that for a finesse shot in the in the top corner. I couldn't do anything about that. I mean, we're going to we're even going to get a replay on that one. I mean, what could I do? I could get closer up to him. But that that's a strike from Andrei Shirle, and then in the late on in the second half, he's going to be able to get the ball again with Andrei Shirle. Gail or yeah, Gail Clichy is going to be able to get get into the penalty area. He's going to cross it in. Samuel Eto is going to be the red headed in the back of the net. Couldn't really do do like anything about that error. He just came like rushing in, just close to the net. Uh, so unfortunately. That is going to be how the game is going to end. We're going to pick up a 2-0 loss with our Brazilian team. The first game with our Brazilian team. And uh, I think we're going to make some changes right out of that. I didn't really like Leandro Eskisi there. I, he definitely had a match there. He probably should have won. Uh, but um, I'm going to pick up Leandro Damiao here for 350 coins. He's not the quickest one. But he's big. He's strong. He's got 4 star skills so. Hopefully it will be pretty good for us and uh, hopefully I'll be able, I will be able to sell on Leandro for a little bit of, little bit of profit and uh, we're going to have to do some club maintenance. I was looking for a Brazilian manager but I don't think there's actually a Brazilian manager in the game. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to jump into another team with a Brazilian team since uh, Boateng is still injured and he needs... Uh, he needs to rest and the team that we come up against is going to be kind of a hybrid side with Marchetti in goal, uh, Pitschek, Barzagli, Urbona, Antonini, with Bender, Steven Gerrard, Mkhitaryan, uh, Wayne Rooney, Schieber and then Gary Hooper up top. I don't know why you would pick Gary Hooper over any other English striker but I'm not going to com complain, I would rather face Gary Hooper than Daniel Sturridge. But anyway, we're going to get the game started here in the 28th minute. Get Bernard on the ball. He's a... I have kind of mixed feelings about Bernard because he's very quick, he's very skillful, he's very good on the dribble. But Leandro Dami now is going to put it in the back of the net. Uh, but Bernard, he is very weak. He only has like 21 strength. And that's kind of his downfall but he's very skillful he's good on the ball but his shot could get some improvement and uh, we're actually going to be able to pick up our penalty here one of not too many penalties we've been able to pick up here but I don't know if this was actually a, a penalty we're going to take a look at the replay yeah I think there was I think he took out uh, my striker first before he he took the ball and uh, Felipe Melo has 89 penalties so He's good at slotting it in and he's good at saving the ball too when it comes to penalties. And he's going to slot it in in the 40 41st minute. So off to a pretty good start here. We're going into uh, the halftime with a two goal lead. But unfortunately just, just a couple of minutes gone in the second half. Uh, Mkhitaryan is going to be on the ball and he's going to slot it in under the goalkeeper. So... Yeah, we still have that one goal lead, but unfortunately, he's going to be heading it on a corner with Agbana in the 65th minute. So we're all tied up now, not looking too great or not being very happy. Uh, but we're going to get the ball here with Bernard and uh, this will show you off kind of his uh, skill, uh, skill abilities. And I'm not much of a st skiller, but... Look at this, I got a great opportunity to score, but then Leandro Damiao is in the way and Fernando is going to be able to put it in the back of the net. 
Uh, I would have loved to score the goal there with uh, Bernard. It would have been a lovely little goal from from kickoff, basically. But unfortunately, we didn't pick up the goal with Bernard. But fortunately, we were able to pick up the win. 3-2. A goal from Leandro Damiao, one from Felipe Melo, and one from Fernando. And uh, that is going to signal the end of the episode. As you can see there, possession was very even. Shots were pretty even, so... But I won the game, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!